So let's look at the equation of a line. Let's look at an equation like y is equal to 3x plus 2, for example. So what I could do is I could sketch this line. OK, so here's the y-axis. There's the x-axis. OK, and it's going through 2 on the y-axis. And what we can already identify is the gradient of this line. Because if I just choose any point on the line and I go one unit to the right, then effectively the line has moved up three units. OK, so for every one I go along, it moves up three. And this is how we identify the gradient of this line. It is this three, the coefficient of x, the number in front of the x. OK? And it can be found by finding the difference in the y-coordinates and divide it by the difference in the x-coordinates. So if you know the coordinates of those two points, then you can calculate the gradient by dividing the difference in y by the difference in x. OK? Now, does it matter about this number here? OK? Does the gradient change? Well, if I change this to 20, and then I change my diagram to 20, the gradient of the line remains exactly as it is. Okay? It doesn't matter where it's crossing the y-axis, it is unchanged. So if I change this to 200, okay, it'd still be exactly the same gradient. Okay? So that doesn't matter. So this plus or minus whatever number on the end will not affect the gradient. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a shorthand notation. Okay, to represent the gradient of a line or a curve. Okay? And it is written as dy by dx. And you can effectively look at it at this early stage as the difference in y divided by the difference in x, exactly as we had before, but a shorthand notation. And this represents the gradient function now, for a line, the gradient doesn't change no matter where you are, OK? And so the gradient will remain fixed and constant. And in this case, it was 3. So we could write dy by dx is equal to 3. So if I write down two equations, like y is equal to 4x minus 7 and y is equal to 4x plus 900, in both of these cases, I could write dy by dx is 4 because the gradient is unchanged. It doesn't matter about that minus 7 or 900. It doesn't matter what number I've added on or subtracted. The gradient is exactly the same. Now, there are, there are some mechanics working in the background to allow this to happen to bring in this notation of dy by dx. And we will look at that when we look at differentiation for first principles. But when you're learning differentiation right at the beginning, um, it's usually best to learn the process first. And then once you've got an understanding of the process, you can look into the why it works. Okay? As is the way with a lot of things in mathematics, you usually learn why it works later on. OK, um, so there are some things going on in the background. But for the moment, this is um, as straightforward as it looks. The main difference is going to be in looking at the gradient of curves. Because obviously, the gradient of a curve changes depending on where you are. And so this gradient function that we have will no longer be constant. It will no longer just be a number. Instead, it will be a function of x. It'll be something like 3x, for example, or 3x squared, or 3 minus x, or 3 sine x, or something like that. It will be a function of x um, rather than just a number. 
because the gradient of the curve is not fixed. So when we're differentiating straight lines, you're just, and this is the process referred to as differentiating, uh, differentiating? <laughs> differentiating, okay, this process of going from y to dy by dx, for straight lines you're just ident identifying the gradient of the line, okay, and this is your first step to differentiation.